one diabetic, I was actually got to the point where I was unable to eat bread of any description shop bought. So I actually reached the point where I was just unable to eat bread at all. Until <laughs> um, a friend of mine who said to me, Bob, you must have a look at the gift of bread. And um, she said it's absolutely wonderful. And she was then really talking about the gut rather than about my diabetes, because, um, but she did mention uh, that it was also good for diabetes. It was brilliant. Yes, uh, Michael was explaining the uh, the issues around diabetes and the gut and things and how the sprouted and fermented grain was good. And um, so, yes, it was from there on in, we had a, an absolutely wonderful day here and uh, went home and started to bake it. And I can have the bread with certainly up to about lunchtime without any extra insulin whatsoever, which is absolutely fascinating. Um, as the day goes on, obviously, as your own insulin levels, um, as the insulin sort of wears off a little bit, then you have to just top up, but maybe just a little bit. But the point being that I can now eat bread easily without a problem at all. Cakes. <laughs> yes, loving the cakes. <laughs> um, I have to say that the fruit cake is a little bit of a you, you do have to judge insulin for the fruit within the cake, if it's a fruit cake. But um, my husband and I have discovered that by having the different things within the cake, like for example, um, low glycemic stuff, uh, ginger and walnuts, and we've even found that um, carrots and um, lots of nutmegs. You can you can make all sorts of different cakes just if if you don't use fruit but just use different ingredients. You can eat those without an issue at all. So delicious, absolutely lovely. Yeah.